So my name is David Cahill. I'm a professor in reproductive medicine at Bristol University and I'm a gynecologist in St. Michael's Hospital. Um, I've got into, get gotten into delivering this gorilla because um, I had been involved in the care of gorillas in a number of different ways here over the years and the vets at the zoo had gotten to know me and for that reason they then came and asked me when they thought this mother needed to be delivered if I could come along and help them. So the mum is Kira, she's one of our breeding females here at Bristol Zoo. Uh, it's the first time she has been pregnant here at Bristol, so she's a first time mum. Uh, so we were monitoring the pregnancy really closely. Um, gorillas cycle just like humans do, so they have an estrous cycle, so we could kind of predict a birth date near about, so we kind of knew she was due soon, so we were watching her quite closely. Um, but kind of towards the end um, of her pregnancy, we saw you know, that she was beginning to look a bit uncomfortable, and she was showing some signs of ill health, um, and that's when we made the decision to intervene. Um, so when we decided she was unwell, our, our veterinary team came to look at her, and it, it was their decision um, along with um, our head of collection, John Partridge, and um, the assistant creator of mammals, Lindsay Bug. So it's a discussion with them really um, whether to intervene or not, and they decided that Kira was unwell enough to intervene. And at that point, that's when the veterinary department contacted the University of Bristol so that they could bring in experts um, who obviously do this kind of thing every day um, that could come and help us out with the C-section. We didn't actually make the decision to, make, uh, to do the C-section until Kira was actually under anaesthesia, uh, and we assessed her condition on the table. And that's when we made the difficult decision to go through.